welcome back friends this is kind of and guys today we will discuss uh, the mcq set number three of topic will be computer fundamental and programming concepts okay so before uh, watching this video i'll recommend you to subscribe this youtube channel that is current affairs funda and guys if you subscribe this channel then you will be directly notified from or all the emails and if I uploaded any video on our YouTube channel then you will be directly notified okay so let's start and I'll solve the, the MCQs and I'll explain each and everything here okay so keep right down and prepare notes side by side see guys this one your first question uh, which generation of computer is, is still under development which generation of computer that is, is still under development uh, option is fourth fifth sixth and seventh so guys there are only fifth generations that's why the answer will be b fifth generation computers are under development and what is the history about fifth generation and uh, today's computer fall under the fourth generation computer that uses the LSI VLSI integrated circuits for fifth generation computer it is expected for ultra large scale integrated circuit that is ULSI the study of using gallium arsenide instead of silicon chips is underway electrons can travel five times faster than gallium arsenide compared to the silicon similarly genetically engineered protein molecules are being tried for processors fifth generation computers are expected to have artificial intelligence ability to use natural language it's all about the fifth generation computer guys the content is really very important for you because uh, if you know uh, the theory portion then you can easily achieve the objective questions because object question is nothing else they are um, compiled from the theory portion you are getting me uh, basically uh, the questions uh, are making uh, from the theory portion that's why I'm emphasized on the theory portion rather than objectives okay friends is question may basically push again key किस जनरेशन की कंप्यूटर में जो भी स्टिल अंडर डेवलपमेंट है तो देखिए फोर्थ जनरेशन अभी करंटली चल रही है और फिफ्थ जनरेशन जो है हमारी वो आने वाली है तो BLSI और LSI इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स जो है हमारे फोर्थ जनरेशन में यूज होते हैं फिफ्थ जनरेशंस के लिए अल्ट्रा लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स यूज होते हैं और जो गैलियम अर्सेनाइड यूज हो रहा है सिलिकॉन चिप्स की जगह पर बिकॉज इसमें क्या होता है इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो होते हैं वो हमारे फाइव टाइम्स ज्यादा तेज रन कर सकते हैं अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ज्यादा तेज हमारे मूव कर सकते हैं तो हम इस ऑपरेशन को परफॉर्म करेंगे अपने प्रोसेसर्स के ऊपर जिससे प्रोसेसर की स्पीड बहुत तेज होगी फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस दैट मींस दे कैन थिंक अबाउट ओके एबिलिटी टू यूज नेचुरल लैंग्वेज ओके वो काफी कुछ एक्स्ट्रा परफॉर्म करेंगे नाउ गाइस लेट्स मूव फॉर प्रॉब्लम नंबर 2 दैट इज हियर See, artificial intelligence is associated with which generation? Basically, artificial intelligence is uh, related with fifth generation. Okay, and it's all about the artificial intelligence. Then you should know about it. Okay, so guys, if you are strong in theory portion, then you can solve any mcqs okay and if you are solving only mcqs then you will never uh, benefit in theory portion because you don't know the abcd of theory portion then how can you solve the problems of uh, mcq section think about it that's why i'm telling you to emphasize on theory portion rather than solving the mcqs i'll definitely give you idea uh, about how the questions are asked in exams that's why i'm making such kind of ppts for you ओके देखिए फ्रेंड्स आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस किस जनरेशन से एसोसिएट होता है ये हमने अभी आपको पीछे बताया फिफ्थ जनरेशन से होता है तो करना क्या आपको फिफ्थ जनरेशन अगर आपको पता है उसकी थ्योरी पोर्शन पता है तो आप इजीली कर सकते हैं यही तरीका है ओके सी नेक्स्ट 
प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री विच ऑपरेशन इज नॉट परफॉर्म्ड बाय द कंप्यूटर बेसिकली कंप्यूटर इज इनपुटिंग प्रोसेसिंग कंट्रोलिंग एंड कंप्यूटर कांट अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग विल बी पॉसिबल इन फिफ्थ जनरेशन बिकॉज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस विल बी एडेड एक्स्ट्रा सेगमेंट विल एड इन फिफ्थ जनरेशन दैट विल बी दैट कंप्यूटर विल अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द थिंग्स ओके सो गैज द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन कंप्यूटर्स कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड सिंस दे डोंट हैव अ इंटेलिजेंस दे डोंट देर आई क्यू दैट इज जीरो इफ एनी वन इज आस्किंग वट इज द आई क्यू ऑफ कंप्यूटर दैट विल बी जीरो ओके एंड फ्रेंड्स सी let's uh, hope fifth generation they will be achieve artificial intelligence and will be able to understand and now guys let's uh, move for next uh, problem that is problem number 4 c uh, basically problem number 4 that is asking like uh, fifth generation computer is also known as uh, basically this quiz uh, definitely based on the generations computer generations okay that's why i'm emphasizing on generations a uh, fifth generation computer is also known as knowledge information processing system very large scale integration blsi both of abm none of the abm basically fifth generation uh, is totally based on knowledge information processing system that means artificial intelligence okay and uh, theory part that will be uh, that that will be your answer and explanation fifth generation computers will have artificial intelligence and will be able to understand making knowledge information processing system possible and guys this will be very interesting things uh, if uh, it comes in the upper generation okay see friends हमें ये पता करना है कि फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स बेसिकली किस लिए जाना जाता है तो वहां पर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के लिए जाना जाता है यही हमने इस पूरे क्वेश्चन में बताया नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव बेसिकली सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बेसिकली यू नो वेरी वेल सी पी यू सी पी यू दैट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंट्रोल यूनिट प्लस ए एल यू दिस इज योर अर्थमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट इट परफॉर्म्स बेसिकली योर ऑल द operations and control unit basically controls okay that's why cpu is a combination of cu plus alu okay see guys control and storage this one not possible control and output unit this one not possible arithmetic logic and input unit this was not possible so d that is the correct answer arithmetic logic as well as control unit alu plus cu this is the combination of cpu cpu identify as a central processing unit not the control processing unit okay so explanation part c uh arithmetic logic and control unit along with memory unit forms a complete central processing unit and central processing unit along with input output unit performs a computer system okay so guys it's all about the basic fundamental of uh, memory uh, like a computer system and computer processing units also now let's uh, discuss other problem that is problem number 5 problem number 6 here okay see in the problem number 6 the brain of any computer system is uh, see cpu is called the brain of a computer okay so option will be like motherboard motherboard uh, is not the brain of computer system cpu is the brain of your computer system now see guys uh, the brain of computer system will be that will be option c that is central processing unit and control unit or arithmetic unit alone cannot represent the function of a brain to compare with neither does a storage unit only because control unit is the part of cpu that's why this will not be your option and arithmetic logic unit will not uh, individually your right answer if you combine uh, both options suppose your option will be a and b then this will be correct option but in this case uh, option c will not be there okay option c that means option e option c and e both are the same guys th and this is um, my on options so don't stuck with this 
and now guys let's move for another problem that is problem number seven okay see uh, pick the one that is used for logical operations or comparison such as less than equal to or greater than equal to see basically uh, CPU is a combination of control unit and arithmetic logic unit okay so the mean of arithmetic logic unit basically arithmetic logic unit performs the addition of two numbers that is 2 plus 3 will be 5 this operation will be performed with the help of ALU and one thing more ALU also perform this one also see this one your true and this one your true true and true will be true this depends upon the logical data okay so guys uh, if you are applying operation like uh, greater than a is greater than b or a is less than b or a is less than or equal to b so these are the basically logical operations also performed by the alu so this is our question pick the one that is used for logical operations or comparisons such as less than equal to or greater than okay so your answer will be a arithmetic logic unit basically logical subunit of alu performs all the comparisons such as less than equal to or greater than arithmetic subunit of alu performs calculations such as addition subtraction and so on that I have already discussed here this is your written part theory part keep write down in your copy it will really beneficial for you that's why i'm giving a huge explanation here uh, now guys let's uh, move for another problem that is problem number eight c problem number eight that is analog computer works on the supply of you have to tell uh, the examiner that uh, what is the use of analog computer basically analog computer works on the supply of continuous electrical pulse this is the right answer you should know if you uh, have uh, read the theory of uh, analog computer then you should know okay so analog computers works on continuous electrical pulse this is the basic definition of uh, analog computer AC that is analog computer and uh, pulses and digital computers work on the discrete electrical pulse analog computers need to process physical quantities such as temperature pressure and speed etc if you are calculating the weather and if you are calculating the speed it's all about speedometer that is your speed meter suppose your speed that is 120 that means this one is uh, converting your speed into a mm, uh, computer format that means this is the example of analog computer okay if you are riding byte then your meter uh, speedometer is an example of analog computer okay so guys keep read down and keep write down this theory from here now let's uh, move for problem number nine see problem number nine basically uh, digital devices are what is the means of digital devices digital devices uh, that means automobile speed uh, meter this is not a digital that means if you are using uh, numbers like one two three four five and this one your needle okay and if you are using a digital meter that means one two three something uh, in the new bikes uh, you are getting the digital meter this will definitely be example of this one but digital clock digital clock is the best example of digital devices okay and uh, automobile speed meter and clock with a dial and two hands are analog devices a speed meter works on speed of wheel and the latter works on the tension dialog spring the and kindly keep write down this explanation from here so digital devices basically are the digital clock okay now guys let's uh, move for problem number 10 c basically the computer that uh, process both analog and digital computer that is called the hybrid computer I have already told you in my theory portion uh, hybrid means the combination of analog plus digital that means hybrid computer okay so option number C will be right answer 
and explanation from here so keep write down this explanation analog digital and hybrid are the three classes of computers uh, based on the bug or principle of which computer works okay hybrid computers can perform both the task of analog computers as well as hybrid computers these computers are used in aircraft hospitals where measuring physical quantities are converting them into digital data to analyze the required suppose ecg ECG in hospitals okay this one is the best example of hybrid computer okay guys I hope you understand and enjoy it with this video so guys keep write down this explanation part this is really very really awesome I have made for you only and guys keep subscribe this channel and spread the word that is current affairs funda among your friends and if you have any query then do comment our team will definitely reply to you okay so thanks guys for watching this video have a nice day